one day in a real nice neighborhood, a girl named Little Red Riding Hood heard her mother say, wouldn't it be sweet to bring grandma something to eat? So her mother got a little basket down and put a piece of chicken in it, golden brown, fruits, pies, a few things more, and Red took it right out the door. Well now, Little Red was just a bopping along, humming a Mike Jackson song, thinking about how a granny would grin when she saw Red bring the basket in. Suddenly, Riding Hood turned to see big old wolf standing by a tree. Wolf said, hey, y'all, where's the race? Red said, I'm going to Grandma's place. There was one big sign that said, long way to Granny, straight ahead. And another sign upon which was Red, short way to Granny, and this is it. So Red took a long way there because he didn't have danger anywhere. But that fly wolf, who was the worst, took the short coat and got there first. And Grandma said, are you for real? When the wolf said, Grandma, be my meal. Granny had other ideas instead, and the wolf had to chase her around the bed. When he went faster, she did too. Around the round the room, they flew. Circled about 20 times or more, till the wolf hit a lamp, and the lamp hit the floor. <laughs> when Red came in, not a thing was said. By that wolf in Grandma's bed, taking a shawl he took from a shelf, looking a lot like Granny herself. Ooh, what big eyes you have, said Red in the big wolf's ear. And the wolf just smiled and answered, they better do see you with my dear. And Granny, what big ears you have, they're really kind of wild. And the wolf just grinned and said, the better to hear you with my child. And Granny, what big teeth you have, that's next thing what she said. And the wolf cried, the better to eat you with, and he leaped right out the bed. Wolf chased Red around the room, nipping at her heels. But a Red was moving faster than the fastest thing on wheels. Well, just when Red began to think she couldn't run much more. Oh, look out, the hunter's silver raven bowl came charging through the door. And he began to chase that wolf whose feet were getting sore. And a once again, the big old lamp went crashing to the floor. Well, in the darkness of the room, that tricky wolf took flight. And when the lights came on again, oh, what a zooberific sight! For there was a hunter standing proud, giving a hunt to Red. And slowly, dear old Grandma came from up beneath the bed. Well, that's the happy story I know you were hoping for. And little Red and her granny, too, live happily evermore. And that's the happy story of Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs>